Hey guys, I wanted to show you the progress of my car. The car is almost uh, nearly complete. Most of the parts are there. There's only a few things left. As you can see, I have uh, the servo steering servo mounted. I have the regular mounted for it. And the spot is to adjust the steering of it. I figured that was going to be the easiest way to do it. And well, main battery for the electronics and for the motor. The motor is mounted. I have a little rubber band there. I need to find something better, but it does work. It does run it. Although I'm not sure how much power I could get through it. And then on the back I have the little Bluetooth module which I'm going to use for communication and the auxiliary battery for the lights. And also the relay and the power transistor for the motor. I have my board up here which will be mounted on top of all this and it actually will fit underneath the case. So I check. It fits. It'll just be tight. I also have my headlights and my taillights wired up. And I just got all the code finished and I could show you the guys in a minute. So... The code will be uploaded, and it waits for an activation key, which for right now I just have set to 300. So when I set that, it activates the car. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. No, it's not going to go work, work. But I have my data stream set up pretty much like that. The first value is the steering position, which is 0 to 255. The second value is the motor speed, which is 0 to 255. The third value is my relay which you can't see because the camera isn't focusing which determines forward or backwards direction the next one is my uh, front headlights which is 0 to 100 that's done through software PWM because I ran out of PWM channels the next one is taillights which is just on or off because again I ran out of analog channels and the last three are for the RGB colors which you'll see in a second they're actually all around the car so here, let me give the RGB I go first so you can see what that looks like Come on a sec there it goes it took me a while to make the code not interfere with anything else because it's actually processing the lights each cycle so I think it looks pretty cool and it's like that from all four sides and I could set the colors to anything I want for example give me a second here I'll make it all red now there you go that's all red it'll stay red or I can make it yellow it's actually more yellow than you can see on the camera but eh, we'll deal with it and I could go back to my strobing mode if I feel like it. And the speed is also adjustable, so I could do whatever I want with it. That's just what I have for now. Let me move on to the headlights. That should be a quick little show. There's the taillights, maximum brightness. If you guys can see that. I could also adjust those to, let me go to minimum brightness. That's minimum brightness. I can't really do anything more to that, considering it's using a software PWM. So, if I make the timing faster, I can make it lower. But I, I think I think that's sufficient. We'll see. And then here's some middle value real quick, so you can see what that looks like. That's middle. And I'll go back to full again. And that's full. So it should be pretty bright. Let me turn the brake lights on. There we go. We have brake lights. Now these are just on or off. I can't... I mean, I could adjust the brightness, but that would have to be a set value. I can also make them have two states where they have medium brightness and full brightness if I wanted to for when you just lights on and brakes, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I really like that. There's those lights, and then I think I showed you the RGB. Let me show you the motor real quick, because that's easier than the steering. Actually, let me elevate the car, or else it'll run off the table. There you go, that should work. So the motor I have full control, it's pretty powerful. Let me give it full value. Just get it going. It actually wants to shake off the table, and I could give it any value in between as anything else. Let me give it half value. That's half value. And the wheels are spinning. So, it is working. 
But again, as I said, I haven't tested it with that rubber band. I may need something stronger, but we'll see how that goes. Let me turn it off. And then let me show you the steering wheel real quick. Also the underside of my car, for anybody who cares. Try not to short anything out. So you know, I think that's going to be fine. So there's those four LED strips, and I have quite decent range out of here, and it's custom map. So let's see here. Show you one extreme that's turning to the left maximum. And that's turning to the right maximum, and I can do anything in between. For example, that or that or here, let's go to. So I mean, I have full control over this to do anything I want. I was going for precision, so I should get precision with uh, that. So I like how it works. The wiring on the bottom is a little bit messy. I will clean that up, and I just have these wires running off to the side. They'll actually go through the car when it's all said and done. So, like I said, it's almost there, not quite completely. So, just a few more steps and then writing the controller code, which I'm waiting for parts for that. So, that's the car. Let me turn all the lights on real quick before I end this. Here, let's full brightness taillights, full brightness headlights, and let it strobe. I think I screwed a command up there. Let me see something real quick. Oh, not working. <laughs> okay, I guess I have to tweak my code a little bit more. Just try front and back. Oop, that's not working. Things working. I think we lost communication. It looks like pin got loose. Let's try it again real quick. <laughs> Will it listen this time? Nope. Let me reload the code. Something funny happened. See if it'll work this time. It's taking me a while to enter all these values because I have that big string to go through and change everything I want. That would explain it. The little battery was out. This is my little auxiliary battery. All right. Oh, there's the headlights. So okay. Okay. Now, now, now it'll work. All right. Let me tweak the values. And voila. There we go. We have headlights, tail lights, and glow underneath. And I could change any of those along the way, but I've already showed you that, so I won't show it again. So I guess it is ready. <laughs> the battery just came out. I'll have to do something about that when I actually assemble a whole thing so that's the price of my car I think we're just about there just a few more tweaks and writing the controller code which will take me a few days because I'm waiting for parts other than that I'm pretty happy with it what do you guys think see you next time